Static electricity is a natural phenomenon that occurs when there's an imbalance of electrons on a material. When two materials composed of different molecules rub together, there can be an exchange of electrons, causing a static charge. One material will be an electron donor, which will result in a positive charge, and the other material will be an electron acceptor, which will result in a negative charge. This imbalance of electrons is a difference in electrical potential. Once a material is charged, it is essentially waiting for a way to discharge so it can obtain its balanced state again. A sudden transfer of electrical potential is what is known as electrostatic discharge, or ESD. You've likely encountered this after walking across a carpet and touching something and experiencing a light jolt. The action of your feet making contact and separating from the carpet is something called tribocharging. This tribocharging effect causes your body to have an imbalance of electrons, which will result in an ESD event. Now, why is this a big deal? In most cases, it's not. However, if you work with electronics, it can be devastating to sensitive components. To put it into perspective, a discharge less than 3,000 volts typically cannot be heard, felt, or seen by a human being. And while 3,000 volts of static electricity may seem like a large harmful voltage for humans, there's not enough of a charge to sustain a harmful current flow. So the amount of current actually being transferred is low enough that we only feel a small zap. It's likely that we are walking around discharging voltages, potentially harmful to electronic components all day, without realizing it's happening. Certain components are sensitive to less than 10 volts of ESD. Therefore, if humans cannot detect static electricity voltages of less than 3000 volts, ESD-sensitive products can be damaged without the user realizing they discharge to or from a device. Damage to an ESD-sensitive product is rarely visible to the naked eye. Often a microscope or even an X-ray image will need to be used to see the full extent of the damage. Any type of discharge could lead to a catastrophic failure or a latent defect, resulting in lost product, production downtime, rework, and other added expenditures. Thankfully, there are industry standards in place to help protect ESD-sensitive devices. When protecting your ESD-sensitive products or writing your ESD control program, the first thing you need to know is the sensitivity of the most sensitive device handled in your process. The ESD Association has two models to use, the Human Body Model, HBM, and Charged Device Model, CDM. The human body model is used to represent a discharge between an ESD-sensitive device and a human being. The charge device model is used to represent the charging and discharging of a component or device. Both HBM and CDM type damage are concerns in today's industry. The American National Standards Institute, ESD S20.20, protects products with sensitivities of greater than or equal to 100 volt human body model or greater than or equal to 200 volt charge device model. This standard is also a great basis for protecting a highly sensitive device with sensitivities less than 100 volt HBM or 200 volt CDM. Extra steps and precautions must be taken, but the foundation of any ESD control plan begins by following the ANSI slash ESD S20.20 standard. Taking proper precautions, such as transporting sensitive devices in sealed ESD protective materials, bonding, or electrically connecting all conductors, humans included, in an environment to the same potential as the device or assembly, and removing any unnecessary items from ESD sensitive workstations that could cause an ESD event will all help keep your sensitive devices safe. DigiKey carries a variety of ESD safety items to help ensure your workspace is ready for sensitive devices. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!